Hey, it's Joe from selfmcclarity.com. Today, let's talk about niacinamide and whether it has any side effects. Niacinamide is getting popular and more popular with people who are trying to biohack their way to higher NAD levels. So let's look at the research on niacinamide side effects and I'm gonna sum it all up at the end with my thoughts. So why niacinamide? Yeah, well, it's uh, popular with those who wanna raise their NAD levels, but they don't wanna spend a lot of money to do it. It is a form of niacin. Niacin and niacinamide are usually used in the same sentence, but they are different. And niacinamide is thought generally to be safer than niacin. One advantage of niacinamide is it does not generally have that niacin flush that you may have heard of where you feel all warm and red and you may be itching when you take niacin. Niacinamide generally doesn't have that. And also, yeah, niacinamide will raise cellular NAD levels. Again, why it's popular with people looking to do that. But does niacinamide have any side effects? Let's look at a few studies and see what we can discover. So we begin our journey with this investigation where they gave different amounts of niacin, niacinamide I should say, all the way up to 6,000 milligrams a day. And they found that people who were taking higher and higher doses of niacin had more side effects. One of them they noted in this particular study was headaches. And so when they took them off these high doses of niacin, the headaches went away. And then we come to this investigation of people at risk of type one diabetes. That's what this is, insulin dependent diabetes, IDDM. So they gave individuals uh, two grams of, of, of niacinamide for two weeks. These are people at risk of getting type one diabetes. And they found that the niacinamide, the high dose of niacinamide actually reduced what they call insulin sensitivity. And that's a fancy term. It means how well your insulin works at lowering blood sugar. You want to have insulin that's very sensitive, works really well. In this investigation, the niacinamide actually reduced the effectiveness, how well the insulin worked by almost 24% in just two weeks. That's not good. So if you have diabetes or at risk of diabetes, you absolutely want to talk to your doctor before experimenting with high doses of niacinamide. And generally niacinamide is thought to have no toxic side effects in the liver. However, there is this report from the 1970s where there is this college student and he goes to the hospital suffering from symptoms of liver problems. He admits to taking high doses of niacin, 3000 milligrams a day for at least 18 months. In addition to some other medications he was taking, they do find that he's going into liver failure. And while you might say that maybe his liver failure was due to the other medications he was taking, that's a possibility. But when they took him off the niacinamide in less than a month, all his liver functions returned to normal. All his blood levels and liver enzymes went back down to normal. That kind of points the finger at niacinamide. And then we have this investigation from, uh, from people who, uh, they are undergoing dialysis. There's a hundred of them. Basically the researchers split them up into two groups. One group gets niacinamide uh, and that they get anywhere from 500 milligrams of niacinamide all the way up to 2000 milligrams of niacinamide. Another group gets a medication. And they find that while both the drug and the niacinamide appear to work similarly, the niacinamide is associated with more side effects, 1.6 times more side effects uh, than the medication. One of the things they realized is that the high doses of niacinamide was actually lowering the platelets in the blood. Platelets are a very, very important type of cell that helps our blood to clot. Very, very important if you ever say cut your finger, you wanna be able to plug up that hole and platelets actually play a big important role in that. So again, something to think about for those uh, who may be going through dialysis. So what I would say to all this is, obviously if you have any health problems, you really wanna to talk to your doctor before you're taking niacinamide, even though it's generally safe, it just depends on what your health problems might be. Also, if you look back, if you go back in the video and you look at these reports again, you see more side effects occurred with higher and higher doses of niacinamide, 3,000 milligrams, four, five, 6,000 milligrams. So generally, the lower the amount of niacinamide you're taking, the fewer the side effects you might have. Like anything else, it just depends on the dose you're taking. Hope that helps. Until next time, I'm Joe from selfmclarity.com. Talk to you next time.